So, um, what we are going to do today is callback function. So, what is callback function? Now, it's just simple. What it means is calling another function inside of another, another function. When you call another function inside of another function, unknowingly we have already been we have been doing the callback function since we started PHP. So from when we when we echo echo a step is what a function so we can we can write echo like this so echo is a function so sometimes we do what we, we do call another function instead of this uh, echo right so what we're doing there is also calling another function but that's not what we're going to tweet now we're going to tweet about the other kind of uh, function where you create a user created function and call it inside of another user created function so now let me explain what that means so now let's let's try to do something so i'm going to create remember how we create a function i'm going to start again with the create function we start with the function keyword so let's call this function um um let's call this function function title so pass your so function title so here I'm just going to put another. Let me just put a variable there called variable. Let me call it variable add. You no, know, this is just like a a, a future um, because I'm going to put. I'm going. I'm just passing the argument because in future I'm going to pass the value inside of there. So remember that's how the function works. So in, in case we want to use another a particular, you want to pass a value inside of that function. You need to what, pass an argument of how many value you want. If I want to uh, accept more than one, I need to pass two arguments there. But now, what I need for this particular function is just one value to come inside of the uh, function. So, what I'll do is pass only just one argument. So, it doesn't matter the name I'm putting there. Just anyway, it matters when you are calling it out. That's only part where it matters. So, curly brace. So, uh, now what I want to do is now whatever value that is going to come to let me just pass the return keyword immediately so return so i will say whatever value that is going to come into this add i want to concatenate it with what so so i want to uh, concatenate it with with this so with um, I want to concatenate the string mister with it to so dot so let me try to put a space here so there will be space okay. so when I close it now when I come to this other function I will create a second function so um so now create a, a second function called function so so function name so function name um pass the parenthesis so I'm going to pass any variable in there. I'm going to say variable. Let me call it variable name. So pass my so mm, okay. Let me let me check something. Let me show if I can. Okay. So now instead of this variable name, what I'll be passing here is I'm going to be passing variable uh, name so instead of here and I also pass variable 
let me call variable add also to variable add so i'm calling it variable add so you know that it is related to what the function that we created here so So now what I will do is I will say variable name should be a function, it should return variable name as what a function. So return so return variable name as a function. So variable name To return variable name as a function passing what the parenthesis inside so instead, instead of video we'll do what pass variable add there to so add a variable add there to so pass it just like this as a function so now what it will do is okay so now i'll create a second function i'm going to call this function function so function okay let me not call this variable add what i'll do is um let me just it's not that the name will, the name will make any difference it's just i just want to change it to anything so let me just call it any just want the name to be different so variable any so it will it won't be with this one so now what i'll do here is i'm going to create another function to accept So function to accept the real name, sorry, function to accept, let's say, let me call it first name, so first name, parenthesis, so pass my parenthesis here, so my logic here so into passing let me just pass string in here so in this place I'm trying to return I don't really need this. Let me just let me use the one. Let's not make it be complicated. So now let's call let's call the the function I already have here. So let's call the function I already have here. I have the title uh, function. I have this name function. Now let me call the name function. So when I call the name function here, so name. Let me not go making it really complicated. So name, and then so the name function. So remember you accept what two two value there so the first one is what so the first one is actually what uh whatever i'm passing there the value i'm passing there so let's say what i'm passing here is what um a string called what uh john like it is so i'm passing i'm calling it i'm calling john as a name so john why you jones yeah use jones to comma then what now what i'll do here is that i'm just going to pass what the callback function so i'm going to pass this title function here so what i'll do is i'll pass the title function in here so i'll pass the uh, title to the title function So 
pass the title function to it. So Okay. okay, I'm not making it, I'm not making a mistake. All I just need to do is pass this let's say double put or single put. So what is here is actually what a function. So when I refresh, I think I'm supposed to get let me uh, output this. so you see it here so what we are doing here is that we are calling what we are calling a function inside of what a function so so this this what just happened here let me explain this function again i, I don't i don't really need to put this in to make it complicated so what I did there is that we were trying to treat what a callback function. Now, looking at the definition, the uh, definition of the, what a callback function is. So a callback function, often referred to as just callback, is a function which is passed as an argument into another function. Any uh, existing function can be used as callback function. So to use a callback function as a to use a function as a callback function pass a string containing the name of what a function as an argument in another function so so that's what we are doing here now look at look at what we have here so i have this first function so the first function if you could still remember how we create the function you create it we start with the uh, the tag of the function and we start with what the name of the function so here here i have what an argument here so this argument is like whenever you are creating a function you always if you know that that function is going to what accept a value inside of the function an outside value so you know what you need to do what pass in um, um an argument there so that's what we, i did here pass an argument here so i'm saying what whatever argument is going to pass it do what attach it attach it with what this mr here so attach it with what mr so I'm um, in this place in this second line I create a second function called what uh, name and this function is doing what accepting what two arguments that's what the function does it's accepting what two arguments now in this in, instead of the the function what we are doing is that we are forming the last uh, argument as what um, uh, a, a, a function we are telling it to do what we are converting it as a function inside of to accept the first value as what the argument so now in this place where we are calling it now we are doing what we are passing uh jones so this thing is entering here and this is entering here and we're now passing in this place here interestingly we're now passing what the name of our first for uh, our first function now this because of it is a function we are passing it here he enters there now it's taking now the place of what this function what we are doing now is we have just called back this function to replace this place now taking in what this uh uh replacing what bringing this function inside of here 
So it may look a little bit complicated, but whenever you try to do it more, more you start mastering it. And the thing is that in most situations, the way we call back function depends. So, so sometimes, like now, when when comes to PHP, in, whenever you're doing a user function, you have to do what pass it as a string. Whenever you're calling calling back a function, you pass it as a string. But in some situation, whenever you are calling an inbuilt function, now if you if you, if you remember the previous class we, we talked about, we we talked about a callback function, the string sanitized int, or the string uh, sanitized string kind of, uh, function, or the str the string uh, validate uh, the um uh, remember it so the filter validate uh, email and so on so instead of here we were doing what calling the callback function so we're calling the call we're calling an inbuilt callback function the filter sanitized string so we're calling this is this is one way they called what we call inbuilt function so mostly inbuilt functions are called this way now if you want to call um your own function, the function that you created, you use what? You use a string. So, so now um, I think I'm, we're going to focus more on. Uh, I'm going to uh, let's create another function. So I'll try to make it. Try to add a, a second thing. So let's say, say I want to add more title. So let's say. Function. So this may look a little bit confusing, but actually it's not. It's not that. Uh, not that confusing. So so let's say more title. So curly braces. So instead of this more title, I'm going to pass in a, an, if, an if statement. So I'm going to pass in an if statement. So now I'm going to say, I'm going to pass in variable. Let me call it variable more. I'm calling a bone more. So I'm going to say, Okay, I'm going to say comma. So I'm going to pass in another uh, this thing. I'm going to call it what gender. So I want to pass in an argument to make this a little bit more. So I'm going to say gen gender. I'm going to write a statement. So, so I'm going to say if So I think I've already done this for me. So what I'm passing here is so if gender happen to be what equals to male, what we want to do is to return what uh, return what the uh, the mister dot what whatever is going to be passed as more. But if else if gender is what equals to if if, if else uh, return what miss. So that's what we are just trying to do now. Let's try to call this function now. So how do we use this function? So in this situation, I'm going to add in adding a third uh, a third value. So I'm going to pass in a third value. So I'm going to pass it here. So I'm going to pass it, I'll call it let me call it gender also. So gender. So let's call it gender. So here, yeah, in this situation, what I will pass here is I'm going to pass what. So I'm going to pass. All right, this is okay. I don't really need to pass anything there again. So what I will do here is I'm going to say uh, here is uh, Jones, and Jones is what a male. So Jones is a male. Okay. Alright. So 
so now now in this situation now um we need to make this work so what we did here is converting one function we convert one the one of this argument to what a function so now now we have we have okay so now now this for this thing is supposed to do what carry to so this uh this this uh more title we are going to be passing here so we're going to be passing what the more title uh, function to so more title function we are passing this more title function so see if looking at the more title function the more title function accepts what two arguments so one is what the first one is what the value that is being added so which is and the second one is what the gender so inside of this place here what we are going to do is since the gender the, we are going to say for mass variable gender so gender so now let's put so let's put so when i refresh so i still get mr J jones so let me change it to what female Alright, okay, it's actually working. I didn't even see it on time. So it's actually working. So um let us let's, let's make it more let's change it more. So let's let's try to use other title because I think so uh, let me go back again and explain this because I know it is still something new and it's going to look a little bit confusing. Let me comment on this. So let's comment on this. So now what is a callback function? A callback function is just you having what a function inside of another function you are calling a function inside of another function so now we have the first function that i was using so this function is called what title and in accept remember just how you created it for you create a function just like a normal function i just created here so this function is supposed to be what uh accept a function just like a normal function the title name accept just one argument so we are saying that this argument that is accepting they want to concatenate it with what mr that's what all we want so in this second place what we are doing here again is that we are doing what we are calling what that we are creating a second function so we are creating a second function and we're saying we are saying this function should accept, this function name should do what accept two arguments instead of it but inside of the, this place, we are turning what the last argument, the last argument into what a function. We are turning the last argument into a function to do what accept to accept what the first argument as what its own argument. So we are calling the last function as to accept what the the first argument as its own argument. So now inside of this this thing, we are now we are we are now doing what. So here we are do, we are creating what. So we have what we are now passing our uh, the person's name. So let's let's let me let me um let me remove this right. So we are now passing this function here as a string. So whenever you are calling a user written uh, function, we we pass it as what a string. We are now passing it here in place of what where this function is supposed to be, right? So we are passing it here. Now we are now passing what the name. Let's say Jones Jones uh jones team so that's the, the, the uh, jones team so now passing this jones team as what uh a name so it's supposed it's, it's now representing here and entering here as what argument automatically because of we are passing the title as what a callback function this this jones team is now being passed inside of what the title 
So he's been passing inside of the title, and you know, as the Jones team comes in here, he's have done what he's now enter here, enter here, and he's now concatenated with what this. So when you refresh, you get what you get this. So now we are now coming over to this place where we made it a little bit advanced. So we will try to put the if else statement. So I'm going to comment on okay, doesn't need, I don't really need to comment on this. So here we create a second function. So we are trying to do what to add more title to make it more title based on what gender. So here we are saying um if the the so we are now passing what two arguments. One is just to uh, argument called more, we just writing on any argument called more. The second one is what? The gender. So now we are saying we are using the gender to write a statement. We are just saying if gender is equal to male, what we want to return here is what? Concatenate Mr. plus what? Uh, whatever uh, value that uh, enter here. So else, we then it's now what? A female, then concatenate it with what? Whatever is what? Here. So here we are going to pass it instead of this our function. So remember this name function we created here. So we are going to pass it here now. And looking at as, as this name function, we have to realize now we are now passing we, we are now adding now a, a, a function that has what two arguments. Instead of here, we still have what a function that had we are creating a function that have one argument. So usually we want to pass a function that has two arguments. We are going to change it. So we are going to add what a third argument here. So we are going to call that argument what? gender comma so now we are passing this that that argument here so now be also be careful where you pass it now remember that you are trying to pass in this function this one is a function these are two arguments and this function that is coming in this row has what two arguments the last the last one is where the gender is so here we're going to pass what variable what gender gender just like the way it's being passed here so even even though even though that this even though that this will now this any now represents what this more in this place so as we are passing it here so now let's say uh what we, what we have here is uh may pass it to the female name so let's say So let's pass the female name and pass in what another uh, this is just a string. So now we are going to pass in another value. So this value is going to do what represent what? So this value is going to represent the, the gender. So we're going to pass in the gender here. So let's say the gender is female. So we're now passing the gender female. So now here we are now going to pass what that function. This more font title function that we write. So we are going to pass it here. So more title. So remember, it's case sensitive. Just uh, type it very well. So now, automatically, as we have passed this function, this function has taken this place and also taken here. This one has taken here, taken here. So this this bit. So same with what the name here and here. Now let's remember that what this remember again that the function that is being passed here is this. So automatically because of is this, whatever we pass here and here is here and here. So so when I refresh, it's going to this since uh, this has been passed here, it's going to work based on what this condition. When I refresh, this is it. So now um another thing again I want to this thing does not even look that nice. So I'm going to turn this to what? A, a variable. So let me let me turn it as a variable. Let me just call it variable gender. So to make it look neat. So variable gender. So here will be what? Variable. Let me call it variable full name. variable full name 
so I'm going to come to the top. So now I'm, um, I'm going to come to the top. I'm passing what? So I'm going to pass in the full name equals to whatever the user is going to pass in there and what variable gender whatever the user is going to pass in here so now this is just making this thing to look really really um a little bit more mature now um if you notice something what i did here was this is where i'm calling the function here right but i went up here to do what call the name so this what we call hoisting so you may not even see it in your php code but this is what we call hoisting what hosting means is where you, you, you whenever you are trying to uh, declare variable whenever you are declaring a variable it's always advisable to do what declare it at the top if i cannot come here the fact that i'm using this I, the fact that this variable is meant for this particular question does not mean that i'm supposed to write it here it's always a good practice to do what declare your variable at the top of the page the reason why i did not put it at the top i didn't i, I could have just put it at the top here i could have just put it at the top so it's always advisable to do what declare every variable any value that is variable that is coming should be do should be what declared at the top then um then other logic should be performed downward so this is a good practice whenever you're trying to write your code it makes your code looks neat it makes it look more mature so here i can do what password whichever name i want to pass here so here i can now say um so let's let's still go with let me go with another name Male gender male. So when I refresh, this is it. So this is it. So there are other stuff you can do. You can go deeper with this uh, callback function. You can go more deep with it. So. Now, um, another thing we want to talk about is what JSON. So we want to talk about the JSON. Now, there's data are being transcended from one particular place to what in other ways. So when you, when we send that all this data that when you say you are installing something or you are downloading something, it's data being sent. So all this data is being sent as an array so and and the popular uh, method to send data is through javascript so we have the json who stands for what javascript object notation so and it's a syntax for storing our uh, and exchanging data it's actually what we're using uh, exchanging data so since the json format is an um, is a text-based format so it is easily it can easily be sent to um, from a server and used as data format by any programming language so so now what happens whenever you send what happens when whenever someone send you a json file whenever they send you json file in your php to your php code whenever you are sending a json file to your php code it comes in as a javascript so it comes in as a javascript and you know your php cannot cannot uh, handle uh, you cannot just uh, write javascript in, instead of your code to, to my instead of your PHP code so now how do you handle it so what you do is what you can do what that data is means then you can do what decode it you can just convert it to what PHP so you can convert it from the JavaScript JavaScript uh, code that it is to what a PHP uh, code that is I mean for a JavaScript array to what a PHP array so So we have the what we're using uh, doing that. So we have what the JSON encode and what the JSON decode. So now, so the JSON encode function is used to do what encode a value to 
JSON format. And the JSON decode is what is used. So, so the JSON decode function is used to decode JSON object into what PHP or associative array. So now let's let's um okay. Let's say you are trying to send data. Let's use this. So this is the format when you are trying to send the data. So you are trying to send in your data. Let me comment on this. So you are trying to send this data. So okay, I need to change it to the new modern way of writing arrays. So so let me just change it. So there's a reason why I'm I'm using this method. So so now you see this is just the way we write array. So now this is a, a, a PHP code. So now I'm using the JSON decode. I'm just passing what this array inside of what the JSON decode. So what it will do, it will convert it to what JSON. So it will uh, convert it to what JSON file. When I refresh, so this is it. So it have converted. This is what a JSON file. They yeah, convert it to a JSON file. So now let's assume in that what you want to pass here is what. Um, um, so let's say you are no longer passing in this. What you want this is an associative array if you can remember when you are no longer passing an associative array what you are passing what is an index array so let's create an index array so let's say let me use let me use call it variable ft so what I'm going to do is pass it here variable ft so what it's going to do this is it so what it did now is what that just convert even though it didn't look similar so exactly that's how javascript code is being sent in so So um, now we now have what the JSON decode. So let me use this. So let me use this. So when I comment on this, so we have a JavaScript file being sent in. So it's being sent in as what a string. So what we are doing here is what converting this to what PHP. So this data that is being sent, we need to do what converting it to PHP. And again, once again, I also tell you, remember you that the reason why we are converting it now to um, PHP is because. So the reason why we are converting it to PHP because we cannot work with what I can. We, we, we can't even work with this if you write this inside of your um, your JavaScript inside of your PHP. It's going to view the, uh, all this as what a string. So it's going to view all this as a string. So if you convert it to what um, PHP array, before you can be able to what use it. So I think I think using the value you could have used it to print out. Anyway, it's still the same thing. So this is this is it.
okay so let's talk about a little bit of this uh, regular uh, expression so now a regular expression is a sequence of kavata that uh, forms a uh, search pattern so when you search a uh, when you search for data in a text you can use this uh, search pattern to describe what you are searching for so a regular expression can be a single character or more complicated pattern so a regular expression can be used to perform all type of text search text replace uh, operations so 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 now, now you see, we have um, this regular expression function. We have the um, PHP preg match, so preg match or and preg replace. So you see, it returns one if the pattern was found in a string, and zero if not. So it returns uh, this preg match or returns what the number of time the pattern the pattern uh, was found in the string so so now, now let me just talk about how we use this all right okay i already have an option here so so this is just one of those common uh, stuff that we overlook but very important so now instead of this 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 uh, text this is a string so what you are doing here you are saying do what you are you are passing passing this pattern what you are passing this inside of what the pattern that you are looking for so this pattern is what we are looking for we are saying look for what the v twist to inside of what um, um instead of this string here so so we are passing it inside of what this the pragmatic function now let me talk about this uh, I um, we call it the modifier so let's go straight to the modifier we have the i the i what perform what a case sensitive search so it makes it what so it makes it case uh, insensitive so now so the, the m perform a multi search the pattern that searches for it, the beginning and the end of a okay all right so now let's talk about more about the eye so the eye uh, is used to make it a, um, a value case insensitive so the moment the moment you put it here it will make it case insensitive so it So it won't care whether you write it in capital letters or you write it in small letters. So um, when I refresh, it is going to return me the position. So it's going to return me uh, where it's being found. So if if the, if whatever I'm looking for is not there, it's going to return me what zero. So let's say let's say look for what the. I just put. I just put something that is not trying not so it returns zero if it is not found so to just understand what the preg match does and the preg match or the did the does that so just searches for what a particular if you are trying to search for a particular uh, pattern or a particular word in a string that's what we use a preg match to do so the the idea is just to make what convert it to what case insensitive so so the preg match or function will tell you how many matches were found in the pattern of that string. So it will tell you how many matches were found. So this one is supposed to return us so here or so it's going to return you four. So you just so remember the eye is very very important because without the eye without the eye 
without the I so without the I so we, we see that it, it, it did not see this one with capital letters these two with capital letters it only see only this one and this one and this one so the only this three so the moment you put the I there it converts it to what it you remove, you remove the case sensitivity there so so the preg match we replace we replace all the matches in what in of, of the pattern in a string so 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 it can replace the pattern there so this one here will uh, replace the pattern so So in the in this uh, place, what we are trying to do is we are trying to do what replace Microsoft with what preparatory school here. So this how it works is so look at how it works. The first thing that is being passed is what the pattern. The second thing that is being passed is what the value you are trying to do what replace the pattern with. So the pattern you are trying to replace and what the next one that follows is what the value you are trying to replace with. So and then you now pass what the string where the all the value what is this thing. So that's what so in this place now I think it's going to convert it. So when I refresh. So this is it. So we're going to stop here. So um in our next lecture we are going to um talk about database. We are going to go straight to the database first. So we're going to go into the database first. So see you in our next lecture. So, see you in our next lecture. Nice.